Welcome to episode 1274, Yao Han Song, from Aerospace Engineer to Cabinet Furniture King of the World. This is an outline of episode 1274, and he was assigned to Jiangxi Province to teach students how to make airplanes. His salary was about ten dollars U.S. a month. Inspired by making more money, in 1988 he quit the government job and began his business career. First opening restaurants. Down, the first is sixty dollars per month a year. It's about even. But my brother and sister, two brothers, one sister, are studying in Guangdong. They are studying. Ah, they are very high salary. So I went to Shanghai to open a restaurant. 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 到处去流浪啊，去打工啊，投金靠友那一段日子，我我是最怕，就是怕欠人家钱，觉得没有还清那个债，这一辈子就没法活下去了。That was a happy ending. He was able to pay off his debt. He was born in 1964 to Hakka parents in Meijiao, Guangdong, China, basically a very mountainous and poor area. One of the top students, he was admitted to the prestigious Beihan University in Beijing, and in 1986, he graduated with a degree in machinery manufacturing. In 1994, he co-founded Opie Furniture with his brother Yolan Bo, such as minimalist, modern, contemporary, transitional, traditional style. Colors like white, gray, natural wood grain, lacquer, PVC, melamine, Sony wood for your selection. Let's have a look at our Qingyuan factory. First, you can see our manufacturing office building, about 40 minutes drive from Guangzhou Baiming International Airport. After finishing automatic panel fitting. Will be transmitted to the edge bending area. Actually, an infrared scanner is installed at the front side. Scanner can get drilling data that starts to drill holes. In March 2017, he led Alpine Furniture publicly in the Shanghai Stock Exchange. In 2021, Yao Lan Song is the Cabinet Furniture King of the World. With a net worth of 8.1 billion dollars, his brother Yao Lan Po also became a billionaire. Looking ahead in 2021, there are three challenges and one adaptation. From the global environment, very strong. We are preparing for GDP from last year's 6.6 growth to this year's 6.4, the third quarter's 6.0, which is the standard. 就是我们这个行业，房地产行业，房地产行，我们顶上有一座乌云，我们一九年、今年变成要穿越风雨，这个风雨呢，我们是没有办法去改变的，我们只能去适应，要体制性改革，我们要从高速发展上升到高质量发展。Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Yao Lan Song Eight Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.